if you are learning prompt engineering, you probably started with prompt formulas. That's great, you're already ahead of most people. But here's the inevitable challenge. You're constantly second-guessing which framework fits. Did I use the right one? That mental load adds up every time you prompt. Here's what separates the top 1% of AI users. They moved beyond formulas to pattern recognition. They no longer ask, which template should I use? They instinctively know, what does this situation need? From cognitive psychology, we know that pattern recognition uses 80% less mental energy than active recall. Your brain is wired to recognize patterns automatically. This is why experienced chefs can improvise while beginners need recipes. They internalize the patterns. The same principle applies to prompting. In this video, I will walk you through one powerful practice that builds your prompting instincts, so you can get three times better results while cutting your mental effort in half. I call this the six element recognition training. Now you might be thinking, wait, isn't this just another framework? Here's the key difference. Instead of memorizing another structure, we are working with how our brain naturally breaks down any problem through questions that focuses on six core elements. Who, what, why, for whom, how, and how much. Think about it. When you encounter most problems at work or in your studies, your brain instinctively asks, who's involved? What needs to happen? Why does this matter? Who will use this? How should we approach it? How much time or detail do we have? These aren't arbitrary categories. They are the questions your mind automatically asks when facing any challenge. It's important to understand the crucial distinction. These six elements aren't a checklist to follow. They're a lens, a way to train your brain to see the shape of a problem. Now, let's put this into action. I'm going to show you how to train this intuition in three steps, using AI itself to accelerate your learning. Step one, identify your specific task. This needs to be laser focused on something you actually do. Think of a concrete task that happens regularly in your work or study. Here's how to identify the right one. It happens regularly. You should be very familiar with this task because it's part of your real workflow. It has a clear goal. You are trying to persuade, decide, explain, or move something forward, not just complete routine work. It comes with some friction. There's complexity, nuance, or uncertainty, areas where AI could actually help you think or write better. It requires judgment or adaptation. You can't just copy and paste a template. Context matters every time. Let me walk you through my own example. As someone in the tech industry, I regularly participate in sales meetings where I leverage my product and design expertise to show clients why partnering with us makes sense. My specific recurring task is writing follow-up emails after sales meetings that address client concerns and guide them towards signing a contract. Notice, I didn't just say write follow-up emails. That's too broad. You've probably heard this before. When you have vague input, you will get vague output. And vague input usually comes from not understanding what problems you are actually solving. To make sure your task is specific, ask yourself what's the situation where this task happens. What makes it challenging? What outcome am I trying to achieve? Using my example, the situation here is this task happens after a sales meeting where we presented our product or proposal to a potential client. And the challenge here is these emails need to be persuasive without being pushy. They might address the client's specific concerns or reinforce our value. The desired outcome here is I want these emails will resolve remaining doubts and prompt the client to move forward. Once you've identified your specific task, it's time to put AI to work for you. That's the step two. Generate your pattern examples. We'll ask AI to create five examples showing different combinations of the six elements. This is the prompt we are going to use in this step. I want to build pattern recognition in prompting by using a structured method inspired by a problem breakdown framework. The structure includes the elements who, what, why, who for, how, and how much. My goal is to train AI to help me better understand and generate effective prompts. Okay, you can take some time to read this prompt here. So with this prompt, we're also applying how our brain structure problems to make it easy to understand. Let me match the six elements with the context above. I established who should I handle this task? What exactly do I need? 
Why am I doing this? Who will receive it? How should this be done? How much detail and scope? I think this question-led approach is the natural way for us to approach prompting because it mirrors how our brains already work. And of course, I didn't generate this in one go. I refined it a couple of times to make sure it covered all the perspectives I needed for solving this problem. Now you can copy this to ChatGPT or Cloud. When you run this prompt, you'll get five different examples with clear explanations of which elements each one uses. Once you have your rich prompt examples ready, it's time for step three, pattern analysis and reverse engineering. Here's where the real learning happens through two key actions. Action one, work backwards from success. As you read each prompt, ask yourself, what makes this prompt effective? Why did they include these specific elements? What purpose does each part serve? This reverse engineering process helps you uncover the strategic thinking behind each component. You are not just seeing what to include, but understanding why it works. Action two, make informed judgment. Since you are working with your own familiar context, you can easily evaluate quality and relevance. Ask yourself, does this prompt provide valuable context for my situation? What should I adapt? What should I change? The power of this approach is that you are not learning abstract principles. You're building pattern recognition within your own familiar territory. Because you understand the context deeply, you can make informed judgments about prompt quality and effectively evaluate what actually works in practice. Let me share what I discovered from my examples. I'll just use the examples here in the cloud. By reading these prompt examples and comparing them to the prompts, I normally create for similar tasks. I've noticed that I normally cover the what part well, like addressing budget concerns, tackling timeline issues, but I often forget the why elements. For example, like demonstrating return of investment, explaining competitive advantage. This single insight immediately improved my prompting. Now I know what I typically miss, so I can intentionally add these missing elements to my prompts, or use follow-up prompts with this information in my chat to refine the output. Here's a pro tip for better learning. If you find it difficult to distinguish between the elements while analyzing your examples, try adding a format request to a prompt. Please present each of the five prompts using this format. Display the full prompt as written, immediately follow with a table breakdown showing each element, and mark any missing element as not specified. This gives you structured, scannable comparisons that significantly reduce cognitive load and make pattern recognition much easier. The key insight here is learning by doing versus memorizing formulas. Just by practicing this six element recognition training, you're building AI intuition naturally. This is what I believe is the right way to learn AI. Start with your actual needs, understand the core logic, and use AI itself to accelerate your learning. When you approach prompting this way, you avoid getting lost in formulas and keep sight of the big picture. You learn to ask, what does this situation need? Instead of, which box should I check? You develop clear thinking about problems rather than perfect structure. To help you practice this right away, I'll share the complete three-step template structure as an assignment through the link below. If you are finding this useful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. It encourages me to create more content like this. Formulas are for teaching. They help you learn something new, but they're not how we naturally think. Building pattern intuition follows your mind's natural flow. That's how you move from rigid formulas to fluid context-aware prompting that actually get results. I've shared similar learning by doing ideas in a video about learning AI. The key is breaking down work into task level building blocks, since jobs will inevitably be redefined. Treating tasks like Lego pieces and finding where AI fits is the smartest way to start. I'll link that video in the description. Remember the chefs who moved beyond recipes. You are on that same path with AI prompting. You are developing instincts to improvise and get better results without the mental overhead. Next time you write a prompt, you won't ask which framework. You will sense what the situation needs. That's the difference between following instructions and having skill. Start with one task, practice these three steps, and watch your prompting transform.